All right, give us some numbers around what these guys were doing. So, Brandon, and this is where you gotta like, if you don't know who these athletes are, you can look them up or like visualize them. But Brandon's six four. Um, he's always been kind of lanky. Like he's always had super long arms. He has a long torso, longer legs. Um, Nick is, I I think he's six one, but he's listed at six foot. Um, he has long legs. He has a little bit of a shorter torso than Brandon. Um, and he has relatively long arms, but nothing crazy. Like he's built like a running back. So Br- Nick's a running back and then Brandon's a, a linebacker. And Nick's nowhere near as tall as his dad, right? Uh, no, Nick's as tall. Nick's, oh, yeah. he's probably as tall as his dad. And his dad's right. tall. Taller. Yeah, I was going to say. The I average think- human. Is he as tall as his brother, too? I think Sean's no, taller. No, no, no. His brother, both of his brothers are taller than Nick, actually. Oh. So I never, I only met Sean. I never met his him. older brother. His older brother. Christian. Um, he's like 6'5, six, 6'6. Six, six. Okay. He's really tall. But then Sean, who's a freshman at KU now, he is like 6'2, six, 6'3. Six, and yeah. he's a sprinter. So he's, he's sprinting in, in college. Um, but with Brandon and Nick, so like they, with their body types, they had lifts, at least for Brandon, that they weren't especially great at just yeah. because of the way that they were built. Um, so, you know, Nick, well, well, let's start with Brandon. So Brandon, um, his clean, so as a middle schooler, he cleaned 250, which is still so legit. Like a 114, 116, like a 114 kilo clean about, 110 uh, is on yeah, there? Yeah, like one, 112, 113 okay. kilo clean. Um, I mean, 250 is still fantastic. Yeah, that's a lot. For, and, and the way that we do it here at Garage Strength is a middle schooler is considered a middle schooler until they enter ninth grade. So, like, your school year ends in June. You still have June yeah, that to summer. August. Yeah, yeah. To be considered still middle school and then ninth grade year when that starts. Okay. Then you're a high schooler until same thing for college. Then when you go to college, you're considered a college athlete. So you could still have the summer leading up to college to still break high school records. Just so that people understand that. Yeah. This might have been like after their eighth grade year, but prior to their ninth grade year starting. Okay. Um, but Brandon, yeah, two fifty in middle school, which is still big, um, no matter what for a middle schooler. And then in high school, he did clean 300 in high school, which is really good for the way that he was built. Yeah, he's um, super tall. And he wasn't yeah. training to be a weightlifter where it's like, yo, you got to just put on weight right. at that size. You have to become a super. Right. He actually had a better snatch. Yeah. Relative to his clean. So I he can snatched, understand that. In high school, he snatched i don't have the snatch written down but i do think that he snatched like 245 in high school yeah i've seen video of him doing that like he is it or no it was 115 he he snatched 115 in high school so 253 that's what he hit very nice which is i mean big for for a non weightlifter olympic weightlifting athlete yeah 253 on a snatch and he has good mobility and and he's six four at this point like he was he was six two probably going into high school and i think he grew like two inches and he was probably not in weightlifting shoes too (laughs) oh no sneakers dude yeah for sure sneakers (laughs) that's even when he comes home from pit now he's lifting he'll snatch in (laughs) sneakers what else was he doing lift wise um so yeah about more the absolute strength stuff absolute strength for back squat i mean we're picking all the ones that yeah a little rough on him but so back squat in middle school, his best was three fifteen, which is big. Yeah, I don't think anyone's like, oh, that kid, had no, three plates coming out of eighth grade, like, yeah, good. And then in high school, he, and he also up too, he's like, six four. Remember, you can't yeah, he is coach size. Four. And he ha- he does have like crazy mobility that he struggles to control with tightness at the bottom. He kind of like lets loose into the into the stretch reflex. Yeah. He's like boom boom and kind of like caves in his upper torso then okay caves forward so um that was kind of always his struggle with that's that's where the clean on the squats killed him sometimes is like okay. back squat and then he hits that bottom and he's like letting loose at the bottom instead of staying tight through everything and then he like folds forward okay. a little um 
But yeah, squat, middle school, 315, high school, 425. Pretty good. All right. For 6'4", kid yeah. that was going literally what about like a single leg squat, though? six inches off the ground on a squat. Um, single leg squat. So single leg squat, he was good at. Yeah. Single leg squat, he was very good at. In middle school, 285 for three each leg, which is big. Uh huh. But then in high school, that was his big one. He hit 385 for three each leg. Yeah. In high school. That's legit. That's massive. Yeah. Like, I think the biggest single leg squat we've ever had here was like 455 for one. And that was a grown man shot putting. Yeah. So. That was Luke, right? That was Luke. Yeah. So his single leg squat was huge for high school. I feel like if Luke listens to this, he's going to comment that the number is much larger than that or something like that. <laughs> it might be. I feel like he's done I 500. I feel like he's attempted 500. Yeah. I don't think he hit five. I think Maybe he, he has. Did. I think actually, you know what? I think he does. He has a hat field five. over 700, <clears throat> like a hat field yeah, single yeah. leg one where he's like, oh, my arms will well, balance me. I think DK had had something like that too for yeah. hat field. Maybe it was just regular back squat then. I can't remember. Yeah. But it's he amazing. Used to do this a lot too. Hatfield's like a twenty percent increase, like that. Oh, easily. Just from the stability and holding on to the bar there. Yeah, it's essentially a little, like a, a free weight leg press. Uh, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, I honestly never thought of it like that, but that's a hundred percent of what it, like, it is. You it's can like just a, support your core more. Yeah, it's a uh, you know kind of make makeshift. Yeah, leg press. Nice way to overload the body too to potentiate it if you wanted to. That is a as far as it gets you actually strong. Yeah. I don't uh, know. I you know, as when you much. have that base strength it does. Yeah. You know? But if you're like a middle school kid single leg squatting two twenty five, you shouldn't be doing Hatfield single leg squats. No. <laughs> not at all. All right. Talk to me about some upper body stuff, Brandon did. So bench again, he he was good at bench. Uh huh but never spectacular because Long his arms. wingspan is probably like nine feet. Yeah. Like his, which, his, his arms are so long. Which helps with making tackles. Helps making tackles and helps getting off blocks. Yep. So, you know, that's why he's really good in the run game. Um, bench, middle school, 275, and then high school. 275 bench at middle school. <laughs> still big. Still yeah, big. I know. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and then in high school – uh, he hit 335. All right. Still, I mean, yeah. obviously D1 numbers. He's not winning a powerlifting comp, but like he's no. definitely strong. Yeah. Strong, 6'4", yeah. super long. Still huge numbers. Yeah. What other numbers do you have with him? you have anything else? Like do you have speed stuff, so, time stuff? I don't have any speed stuff. Okay. Because we didn't have that kind of testing back then. It was more yeah. specific towards strength aspects. Um, but he did have a front squat in high school of 405, which is pretty, yeah. pretty huge front squat. Pretty heavy relative to his back squat, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, a 425 yeah. and a he 405. Was, he was like, better at front squat. And I think a lot of that is... Engaged. Yeah, he has, you have to engage. Otherwise, you're, you're going to die. Yeah. Right? Um, and then he did a 70 pounds hanging from him for curl-ups for three three yeah. reps which is significant because a lot of high school kids can't even do like yeah five body weight curl ups you know that's my favorite movement right now to train what weighted curl ups? weighted pull ups the curl up actually bothers my elbow sometimes my elbows just because it puts you in such a crazy yeah. stretch position at the bottom but, i mean i don't even do pull ups no more uh, all it does is hurt my biceps so i'm I, over it 